Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be presenting an alternate project that can be made from an arc lighter as a follow-up to my recent mini plasma cutter video. This project takes the shape of a pen, utilizing an arc of hot plasma to engrave objects. With the addition of a small air supply, the atmospheric gas particles that have been disassociated into plasma are blown outwards, converting the pen into a micro-torch. To begin, this project starts the same way as my plasma cutter video, by disassembling an arc lighter so the output wires can be extended. The case is first removed, pins are pressed out to free the top portion, and the ceramic piece holding the output wires is discarded as well. The electronics are then reinstalled in the case, longer wires are soldered onto the outputs, and as an optional step, the lid is reinstalled with the wires passing through. With the lighter properly converted to act as a power supply, the rest of the design is quite simple. Both output wires are soldered to a short length of brass brazing rod. Each wire and its corresponding rod is then glued to a piece of wood which will act as the pen's body. To create a spark gap of roughly 1-2 mm in width, the brass outputs are bent toward each other at the end. In order to allow functionality as a torch, a narrow brass tube is affixed to the top of the pen, bent downward at the front to blow air directly at the spark gap. A slight crimp focuses the air to flow even more precisely. The tube should be long enough to extend past the back of the pen so that an air supply can be connected later. You don't want the electrical connections to be too exposed or it would be easy to shock yourself. I used a large piece of shrink tubing to cover most of the pen. The last step is to connect the air supply with a length of vinyl tube. You can use lung power to simply blow through the end, or connect it to a small air compressor like this one made to run an aerator in a fish tank. That's all there is for this project, it's ready to use. This works very well for engraving wood, although if you allow the wood to become too carbonized it starts conducting electricity, which is cool to see but not particularly useful. It's better to make quick passes if you want a clean result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more between my regular uploads, you can follow my Facebook page as well. Links to that will be in the video description below. Thanks for watching.